The LiDAR scanner is a feature that is exclusive to the Pro model of iPhones and was introduced last year with the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max. Over the past week, I've been trying out the range of different apps that support AR technology on the iPhone 13 Pro. The LiDAR scanner on the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max measures how long it takes for light to reflect back from an object. It does this by firing laser pulses at different parts of the scene in your shots, giving a more detailed understanding of your surroundings. And then with this data and information, your iPhone can place 3D virtual objects into a physical environment. One of the free apps that comes installed on your iPhone is Tape Measure. Now what people seem to fail to mention is when they do videos on the LiDAR scanner, they seem to make out like this app is exclusive to the LiDAR. But on my iPhone 13 mini, this exact same app also came pre-installed. But the Tape Measure in particular is a fantastic example of the extra accuracy that is captured from a LiDAR sensor in your iPhone. Let's measure the edge of this box. The iPhone 13 Pro was much more accurate than the iPhone 13 mini. Being able to capture a perfect measurement in just a single attempt compared to the 13 mini that had issues tracking its line. The 13 Pro was also much more accurate. And comparing the final measurement of both of the phones, there was roughly a two to three centimeter difference between the 13 mini and the 13 Pro. Also, the larger the object that you intend to measure, obviously this tiny inaccuracy in measurement will become more significant. To my surprise, the IKEA Place app was probably the best app I tried with this AR technology. This is a very innovative app by IKEA. It enables you to browse their full catalog of furniture and then place it into the room and environment that you're purchasing it for. And this gives you a great idea as to whether the furniture is appropriate and if you should buy it or not, and then hopefully reducing the hassle of having to return it. Furthermore, to make this app even cooler, you can place multiple items into the same environment. Next, let's talk about AR. AR gaming. Unlike all of the other categories of apps, the AR games are probably the easiest to find on the store. My personal favorite is Stack AR. It's very interactive. You can place your stack onto a desk and then because of the AR technology and it being 3D, you can walk around the entire object and view it from pretty much any angle you wish. It is a very simple game and idea, but sometimes that's what makes it so great. There are some very impressive productivity apps that utilize the LiDAR scanner, which involve tasks such as scanning objects and also scanning rooms. I've seen some awesome videos of people attempting to do the same thing thing, where they've cloned their entire car and then went ahead and 3D printed that particular asset. My attempt to try and create a 3D asset clone of this Lego set was kind of unsuccessful, which was also true when I tried to scan my entire room. I think because I have so much furniture in this room where I was trying to scan this object, it was getting a little bit confused and that's more my fault than the LiDAR scanner. One final benefit of the LiDAR scanner is the enhanced camera performance. You get better night photography mode, giving you a cleaner and crisper image. And for capturing video, you get better autofocus performance on people's faces. If you want to learn more about the iPhone 13 Pro and see my full review, I highly recommend checking out this video next.